Hi there, Lester Fields here. The Blackwater Mine is where I need to go to start collecting the Raider Gang's key fragments to make a master key so that Rose can access a treasure cache. The mine is very close to the White Springs Station, and so I travel there first. Once I do, Rose contacts me again. I'll be straight with you. I think we're past the point where I just want to use you to further my own goals. I may be starting to like you. Now, I don't want you thinking your pal Rose is going soft on you, so let me just say this. If you ever get it in your head to screw me over, I will gut you with this here saw and string your entrails up like Christmas tinsel. Nothing personal. She likes me. She really likes me. And I'm not convinced that that's a good thing. Once I reached Blackwater Mine, I met with glowing mole miners between me and the entrance. For the sake of brevity, I run past them and straight into the mine itself. Making my way into an office of some sort, I find the Blackwater Bandits Terminal. Their leader, Freddie Lang, seemed to be experiencing negative effects of the radiation in the mine, noting that it felt good to be near it. Uh-oh, that doesn't bode well for her. Indeed, I hear from Rose again, and... Rose here. Not that I'm a creep, but I was watching you through the viewfinder again and saw you enter the mine. Can you still hear me? Ah, whatever. It's not like you can radio back. Anywho, if I recall, we completely lost track of the Blackwater Bandits back in 96. <sighs> Freddy wasn't looking too good last time we saw her alive. Not her usual bright and spirit itself. Real sick. Her hair looked awful. Something happened in that mine hideout of theirs. Not sure what, but if you can figure it out, I bet you'd be able to track down that key fragment. I'll catch up with you when I see you crawl out of that cave. Could Freddy have become a ghoul? Well, there's only one way to find out, and so I head deeper into the mine. It's not long before I come upon poor Freddy, and whoa-ho! It's even worse than I thought. She's now a glowing one, and it takes a good bit of effort to take her down with my power fist. But upon doing so, I get the Blackwater Bandit's key fragment. Then it's back up and out of the mine end. Oh yeah, there's those mole miners I ran by on the way in. The Protectron foreman provides no help at all, and I'm left to take out the mole miners myself. In the heat of battle, Rose contacts me. And it looks like I'm off to the trapper's camp for their key fragment. Their camp is somewhere northeast of the Devil's Backbone, where I recently encountered the Vengeful Mothman, and I take off for it without delay. Rose said they were very fond of traps, hence their name, and so I move into the location with caution, disarming a bathroom scale trap at the gate and jumping over a punji board. Though I don't think they'd have traps laying about inside their camp, still I walk around on eggshells until I reach a note. Hello? 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 Hello
which I take and read. It seems some super mutants from nearby Huntersville attacked the camp and dragged a few of the trappers, including their leader, Walter, back to the town. So off to Huntersville I go, looking for this Walter. There are a couple super mutants guarding the way into the town, but I'm able to dispatch them. Running through the town, I come upon a gate cutting Huntersville in half, and upon opening, great, more super mutants. It takes a bit of doing to outmuscle these guys, but when I do, I find the body of Walter Griswold lying on the ground. And he's still got his key fragment on him. vanished. <laughs> Bunch of useless old softies. Margie had her own room at the Sunny Top Ski Lanes. It's her last known location. See if she left anything behind. During Rose's call, I find out the hard way that Walter had his body rigged to explode, and my looting of the key fragment triggered it. Well, now that I've narrowly escaped that explosion, I'm off to the Sunny Top Ski Lanes, to look for Margie, who I imagine didn't fare any better than the other raiders. The Sunnytop ski lanes are right next to Sunnytop Station, so I travel there and head east. The place is infested with scorched, wearing ski hats, as well as some giant ticks. and I power fist my way through to a room in the back where I find Margie McClintock's holotape. This is Margie McClintock of the Diehards. What a joke. We deluded ourselves into thinking our victims would fear a name like that. But now, everyone out there is as desperate as we are. Every confrontation could mean life or death. People take their chances. They fight back. So we have to kill. We have to murder innocent people. Well, not me. I don't care what this world has come to. It's not taking me down with it. The whole idea of the Raiders is sick. It's inhuman. I'm destroying that stupid key fragment. Those bastards don't deserve their treasures. Unless they return to their senses and quit this whole murderous power game they're playing. If that ever happens, Vincent knows what to do. Maybe he'll be more successful than I was. As for me, I'll find some chems and, and I'll go out that way. Peaceful. Without pain. I'm done. I'll see you soon, Harlan, my love. It's been too long. It sure sounded like Margie destroyed the key fragment. Now what? Well, I wander around the building until, finally, I come upon Vincent's terminal. There are personal logs here where Vincent details his growing unease for Margie. The diehards were afraid she'd do something stupid, and so they backed up the key fragment on a holotape duplication machine 
at some place called the Palace. And that's where I now need to go to find a password so I can access the duplication machine and make a copy of the key fragment. I'll be searching out this palace in the password too next time. And until then, thanks so much for watching.